I had no idea this was going on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick, as always, you can call me Touch Ninja, and we are once again back playing some Mafia 3. The end bomb counter. Apparently, there were some racial slurs that I have no idea what they meant, and they were even racial slurs <laughs> from the previous episode. There's one that starts with a J, and one that said local color. Apparently, that's a racial slur as well. I'll take it. So, as of right now, the end bomb counter is at 18. 18. So, we're continuing on with the main mission, or I hope it's the main mission. I don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing uh, now, but we just took over this brothel. So let's take a look. We're gonna go to the smack factory and lay the smack down. That's what we wait for Mr. Donovan here. So as I play this right now, it is thread the needle. Uh, it is Friday, uh, so a lot of you guys on PC are aware that uh, currently this game is capped at 30 FPS. So Hangar 13 has released a PR thing saying that the patch to unlock the frame rate is going to be coming out this weekend. Um, I had the choice to be there waiting for the patch so you guys can watch it at 60 FPS or just kind of continue on and whenever the patch hits, the patch hits. So I think that you guys would prefer if I just keep playing, what, don't stop the upload train since we're already on it. So that's what we're decided to do. Whenever the patch hits, I'll download immediately. And then we'll make this game even look even better when things start rolling at... I play at like 144 hertz, but I only record at 60, so... Um, it'll look great for me, and it'll look amazing for me, and it'll look great for you guys running at a full 60, so yeah. Anyways, let's get going! Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux is on a standard communication grid, so getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But if you manage to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. All right. God <laughs> damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. When you find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. <laughs> That's a sign of frustration right there. <laughs> Lost for words. Fuck those motherfuckers. Why are tapping rockets? So basically, when you do this, the collectibles in the area become unlocked for you. There, that just told us. I feel like the hacking game is a little bit unnecessary. Just open the damn thing. Okay. Interrogate Charlie's pushers. I'm still driving this pink Barbie car. Hey! Never mind, let's just pull on. No, bitch! Come here! <laughs> <laughs> that 
bounced her head off the truck. <laughs> Sorry, wrong Barbie truck. I had this one. I guess I could have kind of cleared that area to gather more stuff, like more wiretaps and things, but whatevs. Whatevs. We gotta go interrogate some guys, so most likely what's gonna happen is we're gonna. Yeah. Gun, right? Yeah, I got a gun. He's got a gun. What do you say about the fans? Jesus Christ! Fourfinger Charlie told Zeke to go fuck himself. So they're just supposed to sweat to death. Then they're packing the dope. That's what Zeke said. <coughs> Charlie said, better that than little clouds of heroin blowing in everybody's eyes because some folks can't take a little heat. Who the hell are you kicking down? Are you randomly beating down? Why is he pointing a gun at him? Huh? Fuck you this. tread on thin ice. It's in our blood. Oh, I have to hold it. <laughs> What's Four Finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. Money. Oh, I do right I call the shots. <laughs> There's your initiation. <laughs> Straight punch to the face. You hillbilly. Still my gun. All right, gotta blow us some dope. Welcome to the dope show. I really gotta get a different car, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, I gotta take that beautiful yellow thing that's in that parking lot. I'm gonna work a special deal out with this used car salesman. My special deal is free. Give me. Eventually, Lincoln gets like a tool so he doesn't actually break the glass. From what I remember during my demo of the game, so it doesn't, when you use that tool, it doesn't attract any people who will narc on you. Which is nice. Becomes a little bit more graceful in his approach of things. I was just here. Literally just here. Whatever. But I'm serious, man. You heard about the curse that witch put on Bobby? That boy was weak minded. You are too, if you believe in that dude in that sense. They say you couldn't get it up after that. Had the car accident, couldn't sleep, hair, started falling out. This is all in his head. Oh yeah? So why'd he shoot himself? Listen to me. That poor some bitch got drafted. You know Bobby wasn't about to go to no war. And don't let them goddamn heathens and their devil worship nonsense get in your head. Okay. So, we don't have any explosives, as you can see. We have to destroy that heroin. I've been... Ow, the sun is bright. Try this again up here. I dropped over to the left side. Didn't really work out for me. Oh, 
What the hell's that sound? There's a lady in here. They have naked ladies making the smack. What huh? the hell? Huh? That's one way to do it, man. Look at them flood out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, they're coming in. Come on. Hey, I'll oh. hook anyone up today. Oh. 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 today. Oh. Stop shooting. How's that feel, asshole? That was a longer reload than I thought it would be. They're coming in hot. Oh, is a guy right there? Oh, he's outside. Could use some explosives to make this go a lot smoother. Bringing down your smack. Money. Eight thousand left. That's the power of white. Get that boy right off. Yeah. You scared me. He's gonna keep looking for you, boy. Oh my god. I see him! Oh, oh. oh shit. It's just a sentry. Nope. No reinforcements. Bitch. I am the angel of death. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, Fuck you. Yes, ladies and gents. Where's that weapons locker? Oh, it's a medicine cabinet. Full. Okay. Got some cash. Any more guys? Give you some of that NOS in here. Ah. Fuck you, bitch. Oh. You're all over the road. You see a new you know, you know. around here. Go. This guy's all by himself. Oh, never mind. Yeah. What a man has to do overseas while he's out there fighting for his country, that just has to stay over there. He don't need to come home and pee and moan about it. My uncle and my daddy served in the last war, and you'd never hear them say a peep about it. To and from work. I hate Zydeco. Mm. Well, it's a playboy. You don't sit the bed. That's why you put your hand. He ain't escaping. Got him. You're gonna tell me about the dope operation. The boss has got enforcers dealing around the hall. You answer to me. More excited about this Playboy. Yeah! <laughs> Is that poor some bitch even breathing? Kill Charlie's enforcers. I wonder what's in here. What's in here? 
Really hope they eventually introduce an instant perk that allows me to do this quickly. I don't have to do anything. Oh, that's a hack. Okay. Got a hack tool. So those little horseshoe, green horseshoe things are hack tools. You got it. So we watched that Star Trek together. Me and my kid. A couple of shows. All right, Charlie. You about to go down, son? I need help here. I got a lunatic over here. Assault reported in the hollow. If there's a unit in the area, you're welcome to check it out. Why is there a police radar thing? One second. I'm gonna grab this this tool real quick. I feel like you'll need. Good to see you again, sir. Mine. That's right. You ain't gonna call the cops. Okay. Next. Go kill this dumb bitch. Man, we're in a straight up hood right now. These guys, these houses are made paper thin. Oh, sorry. One random we found on the ground. Charlie, you and your enforcers after a little wet there going down. Got to kill this guy. Yes, I know what a sentry is. Right about this. Fucking bottles. Someone's buying here. Come on, break it down. Five hundred more bucks. Stop moving around. Almost there. Oh my God! Literally fifty bucks left. Are you kidding me? That's my map. Man, I got 50 bucks left. If I kill a guy, does that count as money? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, Stop moving 30, around. 50. Hey, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There you go. Yeah. You're only worth 50 bucks. Talk to Donovan. Four finger Charlie. Alright, dude. Come on. 
<laughs> I punched him right in the gut. <laughs> Just straight up punched him in the gut. Okay. Let go. Donovan. What are the blue indicators? Who knows? I'll talk to Donovan. Back to the scene here. Here you go. Yes. I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. Kill them all. He's the enforcer. Mm, so we take down the enforcers, less stuff to get called in. The thing is, though, if I'm stealthy enough, I'm more of a long term plan sort of guy. Why kill a man when you get him to work for you? Okay, there was a bit. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. There's a gap somewhere. Up, 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 up. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of guys. What do you think Georgie will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting here? He'll kill Richie for sure. Probably Charlie and Merle too. Fuck. Comes to that, my ass is vanishing. Georgie will never find me out there in that swamp. Charlie called in all the boys. We're good. Just need to hook it down and wait for that nigga to come to us. 16. What the fuck? Kill him! Oh, shit. Forgot about that. The close combat stuff. Uh, lucky fucking shot, boy! Uh, lucky fuck. Uh, you work for me now. Work for me, and you might live long enough to raise your family. Uh, okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. I own the smack racket. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. I want that picture. I want that picture. Oh wait, we're at 19, sorry. 19 and counting. I forgot the last episode was 18. Please state your name for the record. Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative 
in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969. Is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers.